videos today i want to talk to you guys about finding your life path i know recently i've been sharing a lot about my life and self-discovery and disagreements with my parents and honestly just the whole shebang sort of thing and i wanted to tell you guys how i found um what i wanted to do for the rest of my life um so first things first right after high school i went to school for chemical engineering and that i knew immediately off the bat was not for me i went to u of i i well, there was a lot of things going on with mental health but i could tell that chemical engineering was not the way to go for me so i went home i recovered mentally emotionally i decided that i wasn't going to do chemical engineering and then i had no idea what i wanted to do and even before i chose chemical engineering i was choosing from all the things in high school that i didn't really love to do i didn't feel passionate about but um after i came home from u of i i was even more lost because i didn't even know what i wanted to do i felt like i was going to fall behind and i was sad you know i didn't want to be at community college because it just wasn't where people in this neighborhood really wanted to go it wasn't somewhere that was normal to go everyone is kind of wealthier and expect to go to a top school and if you're going to clc usually it means like you can't go for whatever reason and it's not usually because of money sort of thing sometimes it is because of money but that's not what the whole there's a stigma around community college that i don't like but anyway i went to school at clc for four years i took random classes all over the place i was gonna do psychology i was gonna do nursing i was gonna do biochemistry i was all over the place and i finally got a CNA job I just took the CNA class because I was like I'm doing nursing and then I took the CNA class and I was like I don't want to do nursing ironically later in this like last year and a half when I've worked as a CNA just because why not it's a job it's easy to have you know easy to apply to over the course of that year and a half I decided there were things that I really liked about being a CNA of course you have the dirty work you have to change their diapers give them showers feed them and stuff like basically the low menial I guess tasks of the place and um, it's because of that that I realized that nursing wouldn't be all that bad because I liked going to work. I still like going to work as a CNA. No matter how many bad things happen there, I love being there because I like being with people and I like knowing that I'm helping them. So realizing this, after all the jobs that I've hated, I've worked like at least seven to eight. I worked at the library, which wasn't so bad. I worked at fast food at Culver's. I worked at an ornament shop. I worked at a pumpkin farm. I worked at a drapery shop. I worked as a math tutor, um, I don't remember what else, it's been a lot, and I have finally found a job that I love going to, even if I don't like waking up in the morning, it's somewhere that I don't mind being, and somewhere that I don't mind staying. Um, that doesn't mean I want to stay there, you know, 16 hours a day, double shift every day, but, um, I can say that I like going to work. And for me to say that as a CNA made me think that yes, I really do want to be a nurse actually. I guess what I'm trying to say is you have to keep doing things. You don't have to jump in and decide right away. Keep doing things, decide what you don't like and decide what you like, decide what you don't like and you'll know the second you find it that that's what you want to do. And I feel like a lot of people their entire life just stick with one thing because they're good at it and it's fine and it makes money. But if you want to be passionate about what your life is about, what you do for a living, you have to take these steps. You have to take it slow. You have to experience as much as you can experience before you really know what you want to do. So that is it for my video today. If you liked this video, like the tips and experience I share, then please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next video.